This morning, fresh fallout over President Trump's abrupt decision to scrap plans for an in-person Republican National Convention next month in Jacksonville, Florida. The president's decision to first move the convention from Charlotte to Jacksonville, only to cancel it, cost GOP donors millions of dollars, according to multiple Republicans familiar with the finances. Republican officials say his reversal comes against the backdrop of surging coronavirus cases in Florida. They knew that I was concerned. This was the right thing to do, given the new data on the ground that didn't exist weeks ago. Also looming large in the discussions were memories of Trump's campaign rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which was overshadowed by underwhelming crowds and multiple staffers and Secret Service agents testing positive for coronavirus. The president had pressed for a full-scale convention for months and even mocked Democratic rival Joe Biden for holding a virtual convention. NBC News has learned Republican officials are now scrambling to figure out where the president will deliver his acceptance speech. He hasn't decided that just yet, but we have a number of really creative, exciting options that he's looking at. Complicating all of it, the president's polling plunge, trailing Joe Biden, due in part to his handling of the coronavirus crisis. With cases surging and the economy reeling, the White House and congressional Republicans say they've reached an agreement on another relief bill. It includes $16 billion in new funding for COVID testing, $105 billion for schools, partly contingent on reopening, and protections for businesses from coronavirus-related lawsuits. Among the sticking points, those $600-a-week payments, unemployment benefits set to expire this weekend. Now, the Trump administration wants those weekly payments to end, saying they provide a disincentive for people to find work. Democrats say they want to extend those payments, and they want to also include rent and mortgage assistance as well. Now, negotiations between Democrats and Republicans are expected next week, but lawmakers don't have much time to reach a deal because Congress is scheduled to take its month-long recess starting next weekend. Kristen, Peter? Jeff Bennett at the White House this morning. Jeff, thank you.